Hey guys, what is up? It is Charles Float here and welcome to my latest SEO video. I know, I know, I haven't put out any videos in, uh, in the last two to three months or so. That is, I have a totally valid excuse for that though. The main excuse is that I actually, actually have been in hospital due to the fact that I moved to Chiang Mai, Thailand, which you can kind of see around here. I decided to go partying in the Thai islands for my birthday and ended up getting in a pretty bad motorbike accident whilst I was doing so and ended up in hospital for a week. Um, and then having a couple of weeks of recovery time on top of that. So I ended up putting myself in a pretty bad state. Um, so essentially, I haven't been able to put out any video content in that time, purely because I had a pretty messed up face as a result of the motorbike accident. And I was, I couldn't talk so well. So what I ended up doing was just blogging and putting out as much blog, can, blog content as possible, as well as working on deals and stuff, rather than actually doing the uh, brunt of SEO work. Though in the last month or so, I have been back to full force in terms of actually ranking and banking from SEO including a ton of case studies that I'm hoping to put into a kind of premium package that I'm working on uh, that you'll be able to see in the next few weeks or months. So in terms of what I'm, in terms of what this video is actually going to cover is the core algorithm updates that you guys have been probably been affected by in the last two or three months. Over the course of March, April and May, there have been a ton of core algorithm updates that Google have been releasing. I've actually noted that down in the recent Yoast SEO post that I actually put out, um, which is on Monday. And I put down a little bit of the details of what it actually hit there. But in this video, I'll be explaining all of the findings that we've been able to find out from that, who's been uh, succeeding in there, who's been hit worst, and exactly how we've been able to combat the current spate of algorithm updates that have been released. So I hope you enjoy the rest of this video, and I hope to see you in my next ones very soon. If you haven't already, then make sure to subscribe down below and make sure to join my email list. There'll be a link in the description for that as well. So over the course of the last three months, which would be March, April and May of 2018, there have been several Google Core algorithm updates. And essentially what this means and what the core algorithm updates seem to be targeting are the overall quality of a website. This means it's going to be targeting thin and duplicate pages, uh, websites that don't have much content on them or have the exact same content on them as other sites and other pages on your site. Pages that waste Google's crawl budget rate on your website. This is a big one that I've seen happen, which is the uh, essentially what has happened with the Yoast plugin that I covered a few days ago, which we'll cover later on in this presentation. Bad loading times and high bounce rate, and then heavy ad sites. The bounce, the bad loading times and high bounce rate, that's been made by uh, the case by a few SEOs, but I'm not sure that it can be completely down to that as the causation of it. Though it's a, it's a growing trend that Google seems to be using visitor metrics to better rank websites. Heavy ad sites is quite clear. This again is just about user experience of the website and making sure that Google isn't serving really heavy, uh, heavy ad based content to their users because obviously this is off putting for anyone using Google search, uh, search engine. The main losers for this, as I said, are people that are using cruel wastage. These are pages that are wasting Google's time on your site overall. So this is the site crawler and the site robot that Google sends out to your pages. And it's basically sites that are wasting that time on your site. So basically pages that are duplicate category of product pages on e-commerce sites. These are really big examples of, of uh, pages that have got hit over the course of this period. PPC landing pages. This is a really big one actually. A lot of PPC agencies forget to no index the PPC pages on your site. Things like Black Friday deals or some random uh, deal on a different holiday or something. And over time they can build up if they continually make a mistake of this. We've actually found it on clients' websites, on several client sites actually, where we've had between 10 and 100 different pages indexed that is from just PPC landing pages and CRO based campaigns as well. Making sure those are all no index because they're exact duplicates of your other pages is a priority, especially when uh, these kind of algorithm updates are coming out that massively target cruel wastage of Google's time on your site. Image attachment pages, again, this is what happened in the Yoast and we'll cover that later on as well. And then thin content, category, author and tag pages. This is really big. A lot of people, are, when they get WordPress out of the box, forget to no index the category pages, the tag pages, the author pages, that kind of thing. And if you're putting 20 tags on every single post, you're going to have a massive amount of pages that are completely irrelevant to Google's crawl and that aren't going to benefit the user in any way apart from user experience when they're flowing around your site. But no one initially lands on a WordPress site, from Google anyway, on a tag page as an example, unless we're dealing with some crazy author-based SERP. So the main Yoast shit show post that I put out the other day, which you can check out at charlesfloat.co.uk slash Yoast mess up. 
this is basically a really bad problem where, where Yoast had created a new setting and sets it on the default to actually index media attachment pages. So any piece of media that you had on the site would be indexed in Google under its own media attachment page. That does not mean it's the image page that's a .png. It means it creates its own specific page around that actual URL against the best wishes of what you should be using for the crawler. So in some cases, it actually up to the crawl, the crawl rate of a site from a few hundred thousand to a, a whopping amount of crawl percentage on this site, as you can see here, where Google's crawler goes absolutely wild with all the new pages that it has. And then because they're all thin, just goes and plummets off the face of the earth. And we've actually seen SEOs losing up to 50% organic traffic overnight because of this problem that has been happening. So make sure that you are updated to the most uh, original version of Yoast. And you can check out the post on that at charles.co.uk slash Yoast mess up for more details. Thanks for watching. I hope this helps you understand the, uh, the new algorithm updates as much as possible. I'll hopefully see you in the next few videos and the next blog posts. Again, if you want to check my new and improved SEO newsletter, you can go to charlesfloat.co.uk slash join. Or you can check me out on Twitter at charles underscore SEO or on Facebook slash the Charles Float. Have an awesome day. Peace.